Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Terra Nil, where the polar region is now looking very good indeed. Look at that, nice and snowy, and of course we did get to reintroduce penguins back onto the planet last time, which was amazing. And now we can head over to the final region over here, which is the continental region. So let's fly the little eco ship over. So we've got lagoon, bamboo, sunflower and deciduous forest biomes to restore. And then in terms of the animals, I'm only really sure on that one. I'm fairly certain that's a panda because we have a bamboo biome and you know pandas and bamboo are quite closely linked together but the other ones I'm not really sure on. Possibly a turtle, some sort of bird type thing, another bird type thing. Don't know what that is at all and that there might be a monkey or a primate or a chimp or something. Again I'm not really sure so do you know what let's go and find out shall we. Let's dive in and get all continental. Okay here we go and what do we have to bear in mind over in a continental region? Restoring urban areas presents its own unique set of challenges. You'll need to work around the existing concrete when dredging the ocean floor to create land on which to grow plants. Former cities can also be the home of particularly hazardous materials. Now I do notice out of the corner of my eye that there are buildings. There's a building there sticking above the waterline and there are definitely buildings here that are below the waterline. So we're in some sort of town, some sort of destroyed sunken settlement type thing. That is quite interesting. That I was not expecting. To begin with, dredge the ocean floor to create land to grow greenery. Once dredging is complete, recycle your dredgers. You can then place tidal turbines in the resulting pockets of deep water. Okay, this sounds very intriguing. I do not know what to expect. Okay, so dredge the ocean floor, and then when that's done, we recycle the dredgers, and then we have tidal turbines. Okay, right. Let's just give it a go, shall we? So, where's the little kind of eco ship? So hello eco ship. Ah, we're back with a little boat. Okay, so we have a little tiny recycling boat type thing. Let's have a quick look around then. Oh, look at that. There are big buildings. There are big buildings as well. So there's regular land, but then yeah, look, there's great big towering broken buildings, some slightly smaller broken buildings. That building's got a kind of a shelter type thing on the roof there. Oh, crikey, there are many, many buildings. Okay, we haven't got that much in the way of regular land. Look at that, it's kind of all at the side there. Is there anything down here? Okay, that's just regular sea by the look of it. That just looks like it drops off a kind of a, a shelf over at the edge. So that's the sea and that's regular land. And in the middle, we have a destroyed town. Okay, unexpected. We've got temperature, we've got humidity and we've got geological stability. Okay, hang on, what do we get from this? So wildflower bloom, fungi in forests, moss on boulders, ivy overgrowth, moss on rock faces. So not too many optional goals. There aren't that many. The previous level, the polar region had loads in it, but that's not got that many. Right, okay, so what do we have here then? So an undersea dredger digs a perth from the sea floor and deposits it on the surface, creating land. Can connect to the monorail network. So we do need to build at least one of those to unlock whatever that thing is. We've got to recycle a fully used undersea dredger to unlock. And then we've got a loading dock, which is about recycling. Have we got to recycle all of these? Have we got to recycle all of the broken buildings? Is that what we're doing? I don't really understand if I'm being completely honest. There is a seismic detonator. Okay, so that thing digs a bit of a hole and also blows up fissures. But I don't think we have any of those. Okay, do you know what? Let's put one of these down. Let's see what this does. What's going to happen? So if we put one just there, for example, this is kind of experimental at the moment. If we put that down, what's going to happen? So it does a thing and... Oh, hang on. Right, I see. We have to then sort of activate it. So it's got a remaining dredge. Move Earth from the sea floor to the surface using the monorail network. Okay, so now do we need to create a monorail network... Oh, I don't know what is going on. Okay, hang on a minute. So put that there. And then can we create another bit there and another bit over there? And oh, hang on, get the right thing. Another bit there and another bit. Can we connect that up over there? Yes, we can. Oh, hang on. That, that's all connected round. That's all fine. That's all connected up. Right. So how does this work then? So we're going to press that and it's going to say put the earth. Oh, oh, I see. So now, all right, okay, so we might need to go and build ourselves a fairly big network because then we can start depositing earth upon the ground and having places to actually you know, build and such and make lovely, lovely grass and what have you. Um, okay, so if we just press that and go, okay, that goes into there and it's going to do some dredging. It's going to go over there then it hops off there and goes, boop. Okay, 
we've made some ground. Okay, so it's still not enough to get rid of the taller buildings, but it's covered up the, the sort of the shorter ones, the one and two story buildings by the look of it. Right, okay, this is fascinating. Um, and now we get another one. Uh, okay, over there looks good. That looks like a good target. Let's get a load of stuff over there because that's a nice big chunk of floor. So that's going to be quite good. And then, I mean, over here possibly would be quite good. But there's not much over there. Uh, okay, over there looks okay. But it's not connected up. It's not connected up at all. Could we... Hang on. Could we somehow get another rail networky thing over here, look? And then could we... Yeah, that looks better. Put that there. Target is valid. Yeah, pop that in like that. So that's all Earth. That's all Earth. And that bit will also be Earth. And then I think that thing is going to vanish. That's now done. There's nothing left for it to do, you know, to dredge or whatever. Right. Okay. So now I think we need to do the same thing kind of around here. Although, do we want to possibly now... Uh, hang on. Where's, where's power come from? Recycle a fully used undersea dredge. Oh, hang on, that might be the power thing. Hang on a second. Um, how do we recycle one of these things? Uh, we're loading dock. Okay, right, hang on a second. Hang on. So we need to get... A oh, hang on. Hang on a second. That big building there is lit up. That's lit up. Why is that? Uh, hang on a minute. If we, if we put that there, if we click that, we build that. We've got a little recycly boat, look as we did do in the temperate region. It comes over here. Ah, okay. We've taken some of that building apart. And now where does it go? Where does that go? It just kind of hops back into the middle. I mean, where did it put all those things? Uh, th that's a very little boat and it's recycled a lot of things. Okay, <laughs> we've got a TARDIS boat. That's exciting. Right, so now we've got ourselves a tidal turbine uses ocean currents to generate electricity, must be placed in deep ocean. Oh, so it has to go in the deep bit. Right. Okay. So we can now have a bit of power over there. Right. This is very different. I like how the levels are all very distinct. They've got your base things at their heart, but yeah, they're all kind of you know, very different in their own ways. So I think, I think now, what can we do with that then? So can we get some of these in? because we possibly could do with getting some ground turned into lovely stuff, and then we could do with getting um, some, some green around the place would be quite good. Some green would be lovely. Is that our only source of power? That's going to be quite tricky, isn't it? This is going to be quite difficult. Uh, if we put that in like that, that can generate some power around here. That's quite good. We've cleared that. Okay, look at that. 3% because we've uh, purified the sea there a little bit. Although it still does have, you know, buildings in it, but okay. Uh, and then, yeah, we need to get over here, look. Can we put can we put a power thing over there? No. Okay, no. What we could do is then, hang on, hang on. We can put these wherever we like, I think. Uh, so this will create another point where we can do, we can have one of those power things as well. So maybe over there wouldn't be so bad. So do that and then connect that up to the network with a monorail node thing. And then we will dredge... Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, that's what we want. One thing in that corner. So monorail network connection there. Do some dredging in there. So do that. Turn that into lovely usable earth. That is wonderful. Can't get any power over there, though, can we? Uh, OK, hang on. Maybe that would. OK, right. We've done it now. That's that's nice and earthy. But I'm not quite sure how we can power that. <laughs> um, OK. Oh, hang on. Seismic detonator. Could we blow a bit of a hole in the ground over here? Because that would take those out. Hang on, we're going to do that. We're going to see what happens. Seismic detonator. Kaboom. Right, is that enough to put one of those in? No. Okay, so it makes a hole in the ground, but the buildings remain. Oh, I thought it would get rid of the buildings. Okay, no, right, it doesn't get rid of the buildings. We have to work around the buildings. That's a bit of a nuisance. Right, okay, so where else can we dredge? So we can dredge kind of around us. Uh, yeah, again, it's not perfect, is it? We'll dredge into that gap there to fill that little bit in. Not perfect. We're going to power thing over here soon. So there we go. So that goes to there. That's going to drop into there. Fill that up with soil or whatever it is. And then we'll put another one just along there, possibly. Yeah, that might be quite good. Over there, look. So fill that bit up. 
So it's going to go to that one, I imagine, and then kind of fling itself over into the sea. Right. So now I think, yeah, we are, right, the power thing is really hard. The power thing is very difficult. Okay, so if we then put that, uh, I don't want the boat to go and hoover up our transport node thing. So I think if we just put that there, the little boat can make its way over here. That's lovely. So hello boat, how are you? It comes over, goes and does some recycling. Now there's a big deep bit. We can put one of those in and we've got some power over here, which is good. Right, so then we can put that there. We do need to start making things lovely. We need to start making things very sort of uh, pretty around here because we are running out of cash. Uh, one of those there. And then we can put potentially one. We can put one like that, look. That's pretty good. And then we can put one maybe over here. That'll sort out a good chunk of C over here, actually. That's not too bad. So we're on 9%. But now we can at least maybe get some of this changing over. 51, 59, 62, 63. Okay, we'll do that for now. So 63. And there we go. Look, we're actually making some green stuff amidst all the destroyed buildings and the general mess. Right, and that can go over here. So hang on. How are we going to do this one? Uh, in the middle, possibly. Oh, hang on. Do we do it at sort of a right angle -y type thing? So it goes a bit. Oh, no, that's not right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. A bit like that, possibly. So that could go there. That's 80. I can't see what that one is. Hang on. That looks like it's is that 92. That might be quite good. We'll put that there. So that's going to create a lot of green. Yay for the green. And there's a little bit over here which we haven't filled in. So we'll try and fill that bit in. So that's 27 points. Okay, so we're on 21% coverage. That'll get us up to 26%. And then back down 25% because I assume it doesn't count the ground that that thing's been built on. Right. Okay. That was a lot of work to get not much stuff. Uh, yeah, well, over there is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Over there is a bit of an issue. Do we need to put... Did I make a bit of a mistake over there? Should we put a seismic detonator over there? And then could we get one of those in? Could we get a tidal turbine in? We'll give that a go, shall we? Hang on a minute. Put that there. Blow that ground up, please. So, boom. That should go back to water. Uh, and then can we put one of those in? No. So then can we put one... Ah, right, we can put one of those in. Right, this is good. That thing we can then just drop some soil around the place. Um, let's... Hang on a minute. Hang on. Build a monorail network around here if we can. Although... Is that going to link? Yes. That links up. Okay, that's perfect. Put one like that. So a little monorail network going along. Dredge some earth from there and then kind of start putting it over here. Look. So a bit there. Hang on a minute. Come on. Do you think I want to I want to press it again, please? I've got to wait till it's done its job. OK, well, hang on a minute. So chuck a bit of stuff out there. Yay. And then have another bit sort of over there. That's pretty good. And then another bit over here. And then we could put some power things around if we can. Don't quite know where the deep ground's going to be, but that's OK. Right. So more land appearing, which is good because we need to build on the land. And then we'll have one final bit. Crikey, is let's, let's have that bit there, look. So we'll kind of cover those buildings up there. And that gives us a good, great, big kind of block of earth to build on. And then we can get rid of that thing. However, um, oh, the boat can't get there. I didn't take that into account. The little boat can't get there. So we did just do some dredging, and that's fine. But our little kind of recycle boat can't make it to just there. <laughs> Bother. Uh... Okay, right. No, that that sort of worked. We've got some stuff over here now, which is good. But I did want to get rid of that and have a deep sea thing and then put a power generator in. Okay, no, that didn't work at all. Never mind. Right, what can we do over here then? Let's put that there and we'll put that there. That might get us a decent chunk of things. If we put that going at right angles. So can it cover all of that? Pretty much. Okay, that's quite good. So that's a nice big chunk of green. But then how do we cover this bit? This is really challenging. This is quite hard. Um, okay, we'll put one. Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, we could put one this side, look. So put one just there. And that's near. Is that not connected up? Is that not connected up? 
Botherations. Nope, that's not connected up. Okay, that's got many dredges, but it can only dredge. Do you know what? Dredge just there. Go there. There we go. That's as good a place as any. <laughs> ah, okay. That is too far away from the um, from the connected network thing. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance. We need some power over here. Surely that's near enough. Surely that connects. Come on. Come on, connect up. There we go. Oh, hang on. Can we get rid of that one? I don't know. Right, so this here can now do some earth dredging. So let's just sort of, let's build up around where we are now. So we'll put some stuff here because then we'll have a power thing in the middle and that's going to be useful. So hang on, let's just kind of get a bit more land set up around here. Right, there we go. That dredger is now done and we have a lot of lovely land to build on. However, you might have noticed that I have made a little bit of an error in that I've boxed in the dredger thing so the little recycling boat can't get to it. So hang on a second, hang on. I think if we do that, that will blow up that bit of ground there. That'll leave a little bit of a gap for that thing to uh, to be able to be reached. And then we can sort of put that in like that. And I don't think... Hang on, can we get that over? Could we move that over? Because I might as well recycle... Hang on, we can recycle that one. We don't have to use its dredge things all the time. Oh, that's quite good. Hang on. So we'll put that one there. They can recycle that one. And then I think when it's done... Can we put, let's let it do its thing first. So hello, little boat. Go and do this bit first, please. So hop into here and boop. Right, okay, we can put a power plant thing into the middle. And then, can you go over here and recycle that one? Uh, you don't need to go all the way back, little, oh, fine, it's going all the way back. Right, never mind, that's all fine. Uh, okay, so now let's try and sort this bit out. We've not got that much in the way of, um, in the way of green leafy things. So we do have to try and be quite careful with this. So, um, okay, let's try and cover this area as much as we can with these things. And um, then we'll get some irrigators down and we'll see what we can do. But yeah, we need to maybe get the irrigators down sooner rather than later. Although we did pick up some stuff from that, which is quite good. And we are working on the sea a bit over here, which is quite good. So, okay, let's just place a few more of these things down and we'll try to cover as much area as we can. Right, there we go. That's looking pretty good. And we do have quite a lot of lovely clean ocean as well, which is very nice. So I think, yeah, we get quite a good, quite a good haul of points for putting that there. That's good. 103. Yeah, we'll take that, please. Because we need all the currency we can get because we are sort of running out a bit. Uh, and then can that one go in the middle, possibly? Uh, that's not perfect. Again, that's another 43 points, though. It's better than nothing. We'll take that. And that's quite handy to have in the middle, I suppose. And then this one here can be sort of like that. And that can get us 87 points. Yeah, 87 is pretty good. I'll take 87 points, thank you. So there we go. 58% greenery coverage and clean ocean as well. That's not very much at all. That's not very good, is it? Um, yeah, we can't do anything about that, which is a bit of a nuisance. We could do with power being up in that corner. That'd be really handy, but I don't think we can do it. Unless we put down... How many of those would we need? We'd need one just there, and then we'd need possibly one... Oh, do we need... We might need three of these. That would destroy a little bit of our land, but we could put a power plant thing up there, which might be quite useful. And then we could sort of work on that land there, maybe. Do you know what? That might be worth doing. So hang on. Let's do that. And that will explode. Boom. And then we'll do... Hang on. Can we bring that down? Yeah, like that. We only need the two of them. So blow that up. Boom. And there's a little way through. Yay! <laughs> right. Okay. Do that. And the little boat can make its way over. There we go. It's speeding through right now. So you come up here. Get rid of that thing. We then put a tidal turbine down. This is going to be tricky. This is really hard to do. Right, pop that in. That's very good. And now we've got some power over here. So we can start thinking about putting one there. That's going to be good for the sea around there. That's going to help with the numbers. And then a bit over here, look. Um, yep, yeah, that sort of purifies some land over there. And possibly one over there as well. That looks good. Okay, quite happy with that. Shame we can't get anything just there. That would be good, wouldn't it? Can we put one over here? Minus 14 points, but it would be really good at purifying that big bit of ocean. Let's do that, look. Purify that bit of sea, lovely and blue. And now we go to here, and we can put this on like that. And it's going to give us 40 points. Can we get anything else over here? 
not. We could put one there. We could put one there. Is that going to make any difference at all? That might have been a complete waste of time. Um, 45 points if we put that there. Do you know what? We'll take that. 45 points is not too bad. We're only on 66%. It feels like it's really hard work on this one. Right. Okay, uh, we're going to have to do the same kind of thing that we've done over there, but over here, there is quite a nice big chunky bit of land over there. That's where that bit sort of thin. This bit here is quite big. So maybe what we'll do is we'll get another dredgy thing over here somewhere, and then we'll do the same kind of thing over here. So I'll set that up, uh, kind of drop some sort of earth around the place, turn it into a power plant, and then try to get as much greenery and lovely clean ocean as we can. But uh, yeah, let's just kind of drop that down for now. And we'll connect it up. I think we should be okay. Pop that there. Okay, right, wonderful. So let's just get this thing doing its dredgy stuff. Hang on, need some more points around the place. Let's get some more kind of um, monorail nodes dotted about because that's quite handy. And then we'll get some earth set up around here somewhere. Right, okay, so a nice big bit of earth over there now that we can build on. And I think we need to recycle that thing. However, can the boat get through? Yes, it can. Okay, so if we put that there... We're going to get 150 currency back because we're also recycling that building there or bits of it, which is quite handy. So little boat needs to come in and make its way through navigating the slightly treacherous waterways, let's be honest. And there we go. Can we get some money back? Because we do desperately need it. The kind of red warning thing appeared and went, oh, you're running out of money. It's, I know I am. It's fine. Right. So put that in. Now got a source of power. That's handy. The monorail network's a bit broken because it recycled some of it, I think. But that's fine. So I think... Can we now start thinking about getting that? Can we put that up there? There we go. That's quite good. So put that up there and then try and tuck this one down here as best we can and get another one maybe over there. That doesn't affect the top of that building, does it? There's something there. Is that top of the building sticking through the dirt? That's a bit naff, isn't it? Okay, so we'll try and do some stuff over here, look. And can we get another one in? Over here. That's quite good for the sea. That might be quite good. That might help sort of purify some of that water over there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And now we need these to generate an awful lot of points for us because we are really struggling. So 69 points there. We'll take that. So that's good. 75% coverage. This is very difficult. Okay, and then switch that round. That's only 30 something points. That's 40. That was 56. That's actually pretty good. That does a lot of coverage. So make that nice and green. We're up to 80% of greenery coverage. Where else is it going to come from? We've only got 373 money left. And we need to get another one of those, which we then do recycle, which is okay. Right. How are we going to do this? Uh, where is the best place to put it? Possibly over here somewhere. Maybe in this bit. Oh, there's a big bit of earth over there now, which we haven't used. Though. So if we put that here... That'll generate some power. As long as we don't fill that bit in so the boat has to struggle to get around, we should be okay. So if we put that just... Or could we use this bit? Ocean too deep. Hang on. <gasps> we can put a thing over here. We can have a power thing over here. Although there's not any land over there to do anything with it. So that's pointless. We can put it over here, look. We can put it over there. But again, that's not overly useful. Um, yeah, that doesn't really need power anymore over there. We can just stick it right over there in the um, in the sea. Oh, okay, that would have been handy to know a bit earlier. I didn't think about that. But yeah, I suppose the sea is quite deep water. Never mind. I think maybe over here could be useful because that all looks quite low. So we should be able to fill that in with lots of lovely mud or whatever it is. So if we put that in like that. Oh, no. And then we've got to connect it up to the rail network thingamajig. Right, so one just there. And then kind of one like that. Okay, so it is now linked up. It's connected up. So if we go here and do this thing again, so deposit that over there, that should be fine. And then you yeah, might have to build some over here and over here as well. So hang on a minute. If we put that over there and then one over, oh, where do we want it? In the middle of that bit? So one like that. Oh, we're running out of money. <laughs> Crikey's, that's too deep, but we can put some power there, which is going to be handy. So, okay, so if we put that there, so that can go fill that in with earth. And then we need to do some recycling, some urgent recycling. We need to get that up. 
it, that's being really tricky. And then we need to uh, yep, do this thing again and turn that bit down. Oh, crikey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we get all of that done? Like that. There we go. So we do all of that, turn that into lovely earth, bloop that out on top of those buildings and top of those houses and things. Okay, so another bit we can build on down here. And then we need to get the recycler thingy in to come and recycle that. Yeah, so like that. And the boat can make it. We do need to get some money back. We might possibly have to restart this one. I'm struggling a bit with this one. Right, okay, so that goes boom. We get some stuff back. 203. It costs 50 to put one of those down. 50 to put one of the... Right, we're going to have to really, really think carefully about this. We can put that there. That's going to get us six money, which is okay. So we're not losing out on anything. Okay, that gets some money back for us then, does it? Okay, that's really good because we turned a lot of stuff into lovely, clean ocean. We need things which are giving us pluses here. That's going to be good. Ooh, plus 52. That's going to turn a lot of that into lovely, clean ocean, which is going to be good for everything. That's good for our score, good for our points over there. Right, so anything over here that's minus 10. We can cope with that because at some point over here, we are going to have to put in the... Um, the thing, the irrigators, to make all this nice and green. So could we somehow... Um, hang on. Why doesn't it tell us what point score that's going to get? Minus 23. That's a bit naff, isn't it? Uh, okay, we'll go for it. We'll go for that. Minus 23. But then we get a lot of lovely earth. And then, oh, botherations have gone round the thing that I wanted. And that one there is plus 78. So that's going to get us to 93% coverage, I think it is. 92%. Ah, oh, crikey. Okay, we are scraping by. Where can we put another one of these? Where can we put some more power? And then we can build some more, some more of these things. Um, is it worth putting one over here? Put one here. And then maybe, can we build some things over here? Plus four... That might help with the overall score, though. Joe, put that down, because we don't lose out on anything. So it still gives us plus four, look. And the target greenery has gone up a little bit, which is quite helpful. Uh, that's minus 25. That's plus 27. We'll take that. Absolutely, we'll take that. Wonderful. The sea is looking pretty good. Can we get one over here? It'd be good if we could put something over here. Um, that's a bit empty. There's a bit of an empty bit there. I mean, that's very empty, but there's no power near that. We can't get power close by to that, which is a bit of a nuisance. So we can't do anything about that there. It would be good if we could cover that in lovely, lovely grass or whatever, but no, it's not going to happen. So I think maybe our last option, we need 3%. We need to find a really good place for one of these, which is going to have a big effect on, I would say, the sea. I think sort of trying to purify the sea might be our best option. Hang on a second. We've got a load of fertile soil over here that we've not irrigated. Look at that. It's just sort of hanging around, being lovely and fertile, but nothing is growing on it. So can we get one of those in? Yes, we can. Okay, this should actually sort things out. So plus 27, plus 29. Can we get any more? Plus 32. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Absolutely. And we're on 101% for that. That was quite tricky. Dredging may have made the ground unstable. Nevertheless, increased biodiversity by creating enclosed lagoons and bamboo groves in the shells of skyscrapers. Use the roots of new deciduous forests to break down concrete. Okay, this is quite intriguing. So what do we have to do? So we've now got all of these new bits and bobs. So the same things there, but then in number two, we've got a mineralizer. So it crystallizes the salt and ocean water to create rock. Okay, but what do we want to do with the rock? Does the rock become a lagoon? What do we do that? A thalassic purifier cleans a completely enclosed area of ocean to create a lagoon. Oh, so do we want to try to close off a great big area of the ocean because then it makes a lagoon? Oh, hang on. Everything's going a little bit wibbly. Things are going a bit shaky. Is it because of this? Is it because of the geological stability or the lack thereof? I think it might possibly be. Um, also, we could do maybe with putting a few of these down because we do get some good rewards there. I mean, yeah, if we can get the humidity up to uh, greater than 
we're going to get 125 money. The other thing is, what's the humidity right now? 22%. So we're going to need another 28% humidity. Uh, there is the cloud cedar. Um, that's oh, has to go on a rock or whatever, though, doesn't it? Hang on a minute. That's only 14%. Right. Okay. We're going to need to put down a couple of those. Um, although, hang on, we get 50 from moss and boulders. So if we just put that there, we've got wildflower bloom. Oh, hang on. Geological stability has come down to zero. Uh, okay, hang on. Does that... Oh, I suspect... I've just destroyed the world. Okay, th this is bad. <laughs> I suspect maybe this is a terrible thing that's happening. Um, oh, right. So now there is radioactivity, which is attracting some new things. It attracts fireflies, pelagic fish, migratory birds, butterflies, vegetation growth and rainfall. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and here's a load of new things. Here's a load of new things. Right. Okay. So I put down too many buildings and the geological stability collapsed. And now we've got a load of radiation leaking around the place. Can we purify that radiation? Do we need to do something with it? Radiation cleanser. Cleans the area around of radiation. Okay, that makes sense. Uncover one more skyscraper frame to unlock. Hang on, what's that do? Helio cage. Uses sunflowers to absorb radiation. Build on a radioactive waste depot to neutralize it. <gasps> Can't build in radiation. What? What do you mean? I don't understand. Don't get it. Oh, do we have to purify it first? Can't build in radiation. <laughs> How do these work? What do we do? Must be built on rock or concrete. Okay, so it's going to push. Oh, right. I see. So hang on. Do we get anything for this? Because our money isn't looking great. We have to be very wary of our income. So if we could... That bit there is a bit... It's not got any kind of nice ground on it, though. It's not got proper fertile soil on it. It's a bit rubbish. Can we... Hang on. Can we put one of those in? Are we allowed to build it? No, can't build on radiation. Botherations, and we're too far away. We need another power thing over here. <laughs> this is really difficult. Okay, hang on. Go back to here. Mineralizer creates rock. Where was that thing? Um, oh, the temperature isn't enough. For us to do the thalassic purifier. I thought that might be our easy way to get some more points on the board. What's the big thing here? Rain. Okay, if we could get it to rain, that would help quite a bit. However, it needs... Oh, crikey. The, the, the requirements for rain are really difficult. So the temperature's got to be significantly higher. And it's got to be really humid. And the radiation level has got to be incredibly, incredibly low. Way lower than it is now. Okay, I don't think we're going to see that any time. Can we do anything... There's a lot... Hang on. Over there might be quite handy to do this thing. To do the helio cage. If we get some lovely soil stuff set up. Can't build in radiation. But can it go near to radiate? No. No, it can't. <laughs> Where can... Hang on. Can we put that there? What's that going to do? Is that going to get us points, though? That's going to whoosh some radiation out of the way, but I don't know how much. And what's that? A pylon provides electricity and must be in range of an electricity-producing building. Ah, okay. We can get pylons to extend the range of our power. Okay, well, hang on. Let's experiment with this. Let's put that down. So that's going to go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ah, look. Okay, it has done that. And then we can put another one say just there okay so that's going to purify that of radiation okay this is very good and we need some power so can we run that to just hang on is this going to work run that to there so there's a pylon then we can put that just there that can purify that whole area of radiation that's really good and i think if we put that on there that's minus eight. Oh, good. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that would give us a massive pile of pile of money, but it's not going to. Okay, it's because there's radiation over here. Do we need to... Um, hang on. Put that there. Put one of these... Oh, it's in radiation. Oh, hang on. That's all right, though. Clear that radiation out of the way. So zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. And now we can build that there. And it's only minus six. They don't cover a very wide area, do they? Okay, put that down. We'll see what that does. Okay, 
Sunflowers. Lovely. That's Look at that. It's really pretty. Lovely sunflowers. That's nice. They're absorbing some of the radiation, are they? That's quite good. Right. But now we're completely broke. <laughs> Hardly got any money. Hardly got any money at all. Could we do with recycling some stuff? Is it worth maybe recycling a few bits and bobs? That would get us some resources back. But then are we going to need to put the resources back in over here again? Because we're going to need to do some more building. Where can we get rid of what? Oh, hang on. We need to get rid of... Can we just get rid of that frame? Can we get rid of that frame thing? We need to get rid of one more... Um, sort of one more skyscraper frame to unlock whatever that thing is. There's one, oh, there's one in the middle. But that's going to destroy all of that stuff there. That looks like our best bet. But we are still going to lose a few bits and bobs around here. What if we do that? That's not so bad. So if we just press that, we put that in. The little boat comes over here, does some recycling, picks up all those buildings. That frame has now been uncovered. And we have ourselves a conservatory... So tree roots break the surrounding concrete to grow deciduous forest. It must be built on a toxin scrubber. Okay, please tell me that we've got some good stuff. And then a bamboo nursery. Use a skyscraper frame to grow tall bamboo. Recycle a skyscraper to uncover its frame. Oh, yes. Okay, right. These might possibly save us. These might give us many points. Okay, so that's 40. Can't build over there in the radiation, obviously. That would be stupid. That's 35. Right, so let's put that one in. So we'll have a little kind of bamboo nursery thing. Oh, there is much in the way of bamboo. The old bamboo, the old bamboo. Something or other, the old bamboo. Right, and then we want to put another one of those over there, I'd say. So pop that in. That's some more bamboo going in. Right, so that's bamboo 86% coverage. And we've got a decent amount of money again. Not loads, but it's okay. It's an, a nice manageable amount, so we're not too desperately kind of scrabbling around. And we've got all the things we need to get all of these things sorted. The lagoon, I think, might be quite tricky to do. Because, yeah, we're still not at the right temperature. It's got to be significantly warmer than this. Right, so where do we go next? Possibly we could do with looking over there and sorting out some of the radiation problems that are going on. So if we put that, say, there... That can blow some of that radiation away. And then can we just sort of... Can't build... Hang on. Put that there. That can blow some more radiation away. And then can we just sort of keep going around there? It's a little bit uncovered there. This is this is quite tricky. There's not that many buildings to build on. We kind of need to be able to build it in the radiation. But we can't do that. Um, okay. Okay. How do we get one of those? Helio cage. It going on what did it go on uh, a radioactive waste depot ah, there's one in there if we could get something there that'd be amazing but i'm not entirely sure if we can clear a path to that i think it might be worth getting a conservatory up and running because it'll give us some lovely lovely trees which do look pretty and then also it'll give us a nice stack of points as well which we can then go and reinvest elsewhere so i think maybe let's get a conservatory i mean there's a good spot there that looks like a pretty good point for one that gets us 77 points do you know what? Drop that in. We'll see what that can do. Right, that's really good. And that is about a third of the way through the lovely forest that we need. So how about we put another one just there? That's quite good. So that's some more forest. We're now on 73%. Um, and they have to go on those things. So if we put one, say, oh, that's going to cost us some points. But then I think if we put that there and then build a forest generating thing over it, that'll be quite good. That'll fill that area in quite nicely. So do you know what? We're going to do that. Cost us a few points, but then we should get them back with this. So another 45, yeah. Okay, so that's it. Our foresty bit is done over here. Very pretty. Look, you can zoom all the way into the leaves on the ground. It does look very good. So, okay, big foresty bit over there. That looks nice. Bamboo. Um, oh, hang on. There's a thing there. We can put that in. That's really rubbish. That's hardly any bamboo. That's a rubbish amount of bamboo. Although I think it might actually be just about the right amount of bamboo. Um, hang on, we don't need one of those. Can we sort the ground out over here? Can we? There's no power. Can we get some power over here? No. No, we cannot. No is the answer to that question. Okay, maybe that's not the best place for the bamboo thing. Right. So, forest, done. Bamboo, nearly done. Sunflowers, about halfway 
Lagoon, none of it at all. Okay, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? So go back to things we need. I mean, is it worth maybe looking at some of these? Could we get the moisture up a bit and get some free get some free things out of here? So get the humidity up a little bit. That might be worth doing. Hang on. So cloud cedar. Where's going to be good? 12%. That could be worth doing. Let's pop that in. Right. Okay. So we've got some fungi and forest and moss on boulders now. Very good. Ivy overgrowth is... What's that? Temperature. Oh, kelp forest, though. Kelp forests have got to be cold to get that. Vegetation boom, though, is everything hot. Um, the radiation coming down. The radiation keeps sort of flicking around the place. I think these things sort of hoover it up, and then it kind of comes back out of those barrel things. Um, okay, so we need to get that a bit more. I mean, moss and rock faces. We're nearly there with that. Another cloud cedar thing. If we put that there, that's 15%. That's going to be quite good. So yeah, that'll get us moss and rock faces, which is a big stack of points, which will be very helpful going forward. So here we go. In they come. That's really good. Right. Happy with that. So now I think, yeah, we need to look over here at trying to get rid of some of this radiation. Do we need... Hang on. That can be built on rock or concrete. So could we use that just there to become a bit of a mineralizer thing? Is this going to work? Just there. There's no radiation there. Oh, there's, there's a building right there. Hello, building. I didn't realise you were there. Okay, that could be quite good for bamboo at some point. And then, can we put... Uh, there, the rock's there. So can we put that on the rock? Ah, okay. Yeah, so that'll purify that. That's quite good. They don't have much range, do they? Those things. They don't have much range at all. Um, we kind of need to go over there. Hang on. Can we put one of these down... Can't build it in radiation. This is this is this is quite tricky to do. Um, so we could put that there. That'll generate some more rocks. Hang on, we could put that there. Look, do that, then get a radiation scrubby thing. So put that just there. That's quite good. That should clear clear that concrete bit over there. I think we can build on those. So we can put it into that corner. That then purifies that bit. Radiation coming down. Very good. That can then purify over here, look. So that can then do that. Then we can put something else. Uh, can't build in radiation. Oh, no. oh, that's not any power. That's got no power. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance. However, can we put one of those things out now? Where did they go again? They, oh, no, they went on these. We need to work our way toward that. How are we going to get there? Good grief. <laughs> um... I don't know how we're going to get just there. I'm not entirely sure how we can clear that out of radiation. Uh, can we do that? Is that going to help in any way? I don't think it was overly helpful. Hang on, we might have to go in possibly from a different route. Uh, okay, right, hang on, let me try and figure this out. This is uh, certainly you know, fiendishly tricky, shall we say. There is a nuclear waste dump thing just there, so could we put one of those there and then... Once that's all settled in, can we build one of those on top of there? No, because they're all surrounded by radiation. Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? That didn't work entirely according to plan. Hang on. Where does the radiation reach to? It might reach to about there. So if we put that there, got some more rocks, that's good. We can put one of those there, so that'll purify that bit there, which is good. And then we can put one on the edge there, I think. Can't build in radiation. I'm really confused. I thought there, there shouldn't be any radiation there. Surely that just cleared it all away. Okay, right. That's that's not that's not gone according to plan. I don't know how to get to this thing. It's too in the middle. It's it's too central. I can't seem to reach it. It's it's too tricky to kind of get to. What is the best thing that we can do? Uh, we need to get another bamboo nursery down. We do need the temperature to go up as well. So we need to put down some of the um, the heat things, the combustors and what have you. They've got to go in. Um, so yeah, we do need to set fire to some stuff. I mean, over here, would that be okay if we set fire? It's plus three degrees. See, what do we need? Uh, hang on, what do we need for that? What do we need for that? It's ever so slightly low in terms of temperature for the for the lagoons. So I don't quite know exactly what we need, but I mean, we could get rid of that down there. We could burn that. That could sort of be on fire a bit. That might possibly help. I don't know. Is that going to be useful? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of feel, yeah, the lagoon might be quite useful. 
The lagoon might be quite handy. That's only one degree. That's three. Okay, so if we put it... Well, that's four degrees. Okay, we're going to have to set fire to some stuff. I do apologise. Right, we're going to just burn some stuff. Whoop. Right, temperature goes up. Can we now put one of those in? Yes, we can. Okay, so it cleans a completely enclosed area of ocean to create a lagoon. It's too large. That area there is too large. However, hang on. Could we put down one of these, say, around here? Um, hang on, why can't we put it... We could put one there, look, and that would enclose that. I was kind of thinking, could we sort of box in a bit over here, look? Box that in and then make it as a lovely lagoon. I don't know how that's going to work. How is that going to work? That's that boxed off there? I don't know. Can we sort of enclose that bit? If we put that there, is that going to work? So do that. Is that enclosed? I don't think that's enclosed enough. Uh, we might have to do that just there. So is that now enclosed? We could put that in. Ah, okay, yeah, 61 points. Where have we put it? 61 points. That's going to turn into a lovely lagoon. Right. Okay. That looks pretty. Look, lily pads and such. Need some frogs on there to make it look better. But yeah, that looks quite nice. Um, now I don't know what to do. This bit here is really tricky. I don't know how to get over to these bits because they're too far inland. They're too far inland for us to like put the sort of uh, radiation destroyer things on. So I'm not quite sure what we can do with those. Could we put a pylon just here? So connecting to that power station there. Put that there. And then can that allow us... Ah, okay, that's quite good. Oh, that might be the answer to everything. Okay, right, there we go. It was a power issue. So we couldn't put things over here, not because of radiation, but because they were too far away from the power. Right, this might help quite a bit. So we're not going to get too many points from it, but it will hopefully sort out the radiation. So here we go. Lovely sunflowers. Not quite got enough to complete the level, but that's pretty good. So 90%. So bamboo. Now, could we... Ah, we need to do some recycling over here. And we've just put everything around here. Because, yeah, we need to uh, recycle that building. Hang on, what's going to happen if we do that? We're going to destroy quite a lot of things. We can put some of it back, however. Do you know what? Let's do that. Let's get the little recycling boat to come over. We're going to clear that entire bit out. And there you go. So we can now put the bamboo thing into there. So that's going to generate... Oh, crikey. The bamboo needs... The bamboo needs the nice ground. Okay, hang on. It needs the sort of plant floor. So if we somehow... Can we get that in? That's going to give us 39 points. So put that in like that. And then also... Put one in over here as well. Probably going to cost us a few points, but that's possibly okay. We're sort of muddling through. So minus 14 points. So that's quite good. So lots of green ground. And then put the bamboo thing in. Oh yeah, that's lovely. 20 points. And that's the bamboo sorted. So bamboo sorted. The old bamboo. Deciduous forest sorted. Loads of bamboo. Lagoons not done. Sunflowers very nearly done. I think that's the only remaining sort of um, waste dump thing over there. Got that one covered down there. That one's covered over there. So it's that one there. So we've got to get over here somehow. Not quite sure how we're going to do that because it just says, hang on, a pylon. That's what we need. Can't build in radiation. This is a bit of a nuisance. We can't get over here. I can't figure out how to get over there. Um, lagoons. Maybe let's look at doing some lagoon stuff, shall we? I think, yeah, we can mineralize that just there and then we can make a tiny lagoon in there that'll give us some lagoon points up to 40 percent very pretty and then we need to figure out where else we can make ourselves a bit of a lagoon possibly over here would that work and build one in that tiny gap that might work we'll put one there look and then can we build one in there no we can't that was completely pointless okay ignore the fact that i did that that never happened okay uh, we could could we Somehow block that bit off and then block that bit off. And that would fill that bit up, possibly, maybe, potentially. Uh, yeah, okay, put that there. That builds some rocks. These are cheap as well, so this is okay. And then do that. And then area is too large. Re oh, hang on, there's a, th there's a way out there, isn't there? Hang on, I can see that. So cover that up. And now can we put something in here? Yes, okay. That's another few points coming our way, up to 61%. I mean, I will admit, this is a... It's a hot mess, this is. It's all over the place. However, could we look 
they're getting a few of these things sorted. So ivy overgrowth. Okay, could we maybe get down another one of these? Um, that's 11%, 10%, 11%, 27%. Okay, there's got to be a good place. Uh, 13%. Okay, so get the humidity up a little bit more. That's good. And now we need the temperature up a little bit more. We've got to do some more setting fire to things, I'm afraid. Two degrees, no degrees, one degree. Um, right. Getting the temperature up to 15 degrees C is going to be very, very difficult on this map. That's going to be really, really challenging. Um, okay, right. Is it even possible? Can we even do it? That's plus, that's plus four degrees C. It will set fire to some forest, but I think we're okay. So it goes up to 12. So do that. Boom. And there's a fire. But I think we're still okay. So, yep, yeah, got in a forest. That's all good. Temperature up to 12 degrees. If we could get up to 15 degrees, that at least sort that out. Although, if we can bring the radiation down, we're going to get fireflies. And if we get the radiation up and, and the radiation down, we get birds, which is wonderful. And then the rain is really hard to do. Really humid, really hot, and also radiation down. Right, okay. Quite the challenge to do that one then. Uh, let's see if we can sort out the remaining sunflowers over here. How are we going to muddle through and get this one done? I think we bring the recycly boat in. So get the recycly boat in. Come and load up those things over there. So take all that stuff apart. That's going to be handy. And you know, taking stuff apart just makes the end phase of the game a bit easier. So take all that stuff apart. That's good. We've got a little radiation dampener thing over there, which is quite handy. Because yeah, that thing was connected to way too many things. I think that was connected to too much stuff. We do, however, need some rocks possibly over here. That's not connected to that much stuff. So we've got some resources back. So can we now, where can we put these? So that can purify, can't build in radiation, but that's just a distance issue, I think now. So we can put a pylon just there and then can we get that? Yes, there we go. So put that there, that can then whoosh all that radiation away. Can we then put that on there? Yes. Okay, it's not in a good place. It's in a terrible place. Um, I mean, is it worth getting a dredgy thing set up and then putting some earth around here? Is that worth doing or is that not worth the effort? Hang on, it might not be worth the effort. Uh, let's just build that on there and we'll see what happens. Ah, there we go. The radiation's come down. We've got fireflies, We've got fancy fish coming in. That is brilliant. Okay, so now temperature has got to go up quite a bit. And we get another two things. So up to 15. There's only 12 of them in actually. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Could we set fire to some stuff? That's three degrees. That's what we need, is it? That's three degrees. That would set fire to possibly a bit of bamboo, but we should be okay. Do you know what? Do that. There we go. Right, so temperature goes up. Ivy overgrowth. Migratory birds are returning. We've got some currency coming back in. That looks much healthier. Much happier about that. And then, if we just get humidity up and temperature up a, a fair notch, actually, 10 degrees is quite hard to do. If we do that, it's going to rain, and that's going to give us many, many, many points. It might be worth trying to get to that point. It might be worth trying to get to that, because that's going to give us a lot of points. It's going to purify all of this stuff. Oh, look! Look, there's little butterflies and the ivy on the overhanging thingamabobs. Uh, right, let's see if we can figure out where we can do this. And I mean, the cloud seeding thing is going to be fine. We can get the um, get the temperature, the uh, sort of humidity up. Not a problem at all. We can just get 12% or something on that. 12%. That's 89, it says that. 78 plus 12% is not 89, game. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I am no mathematical wizard, but I know that's not the case. You're being silly. So we'll put that down. That gets it up to 89%. And then another one. Oh, there. Put one there. Okay. So now the humidity is quite humid around here. Temperature, though, needs to be considerably hotter. So can we find a place which we can set fire to that's going to give us a lot of temperature? Just there would be okay, but then we're going to lose the bamboo. We're going to set fire to an awful lot of bamboo to make that temperature increase work. Can we get the bamboo back? Possibly. There is another building over there that we could use. So do you know what? It might be worth doing that then. So... Okay, five degrees. That's five degrees. Right, we're going to have to put it there. Okay, I'm sorry, bamboo. It's going to be on fire. And we're still okay, 105%. 
temperature is now up to 21 degree and we'll get vegetation boom and we need what's that six degrees and we get rain right okay what else can we set fire to to make this work okay couple of degrees over there that's not too bad we'll do that right vegetation boom is happening that's good so it's now suitably hot and suitably humid enough for vegetation to sort of appear and it is look it actually is before our very eyes it's sprouting out the sides of the buildings there's moss on the top of the buildings now that is very good i like that okay now the final thing we need four degrees and then it can rain and then we'll get loads of points and it'll sort all this out and it shall be wonderful so right okay what can we set fire to that will give us four degrees of temperature we can get two from just there so we'll do that please so there we go set fire to that stuff up to 24 degrees c now we need just another two degrees c and we can get that from just there i don't think it's going to affect the bamboo over here i think it's slightly too far away so this should be quite good so we do this and it should start to rain yes beautiful okay so now we should see the rain come down kelp forest we haven't done because the temperature's got to be very cold to do that however it should rain at some point and then it'll clear all the horrible polluted ground away then we get loads of points coming in I mean, it's already getting a little bit dark it is getting a little bit dark right now so hopefully the rain can come down soon and then we'll have loads of points to play with with regard to getting the lagoon sorted out and there we go there we go. The rain is pouring down. It's really tipping it down as well. Good grief. But look, look at that. It's worth doing. It's yeah, it's a bit troublesome to get to that point. But if you get it to rain, my goodness me, it just changes everything. Look at it. Everything's going green. Got lots of lovely, lovely sort of uh, clean bits of ocean going on. Getting loads of points coming in. Don't need to worry about that so much anymore. Okay, can we get in then over here? One of those things? Yes, we can. Okay, pop one of those in. Bit of a lagoon going in over there. That's quite nice. And then over here would look quite good for a lagoon. If we could sort of box this in, we could kind of create a bit of a barrier over here. That would be quite good. Can we just keep building these things? Got so many points now. It doesn't matter at the minute now. It's okay. So if we just kind of just keep building these things in, can we then... Is that boxed in? Oh yeah, that's going to sort it out. That's going to be amazing. We have got a frame there um what was that for the frame wasn't it for bamboo we can't put the bamboo in there for some reason don't know why joe you know what doesn't really matter we are going to sort this out we're going to put a thing over there to make a lovely lagoon and that's sorted okay that was quite tricky but we got there as your final step you'll need to finish recycling the city reintroduce animals and construct an interstellar rocket on which to leave Oh, we just leave the planet now, do we? Use satellite scans to gather seeds from all over the planet and store them in the rocket's vault. Finally, place this guidebook in the cockpit and leave the restored world behind. Oh, okay. Right, that's many things. That's a lot of things that we have to do. Crikey's. Oh, there are, there are all sorts of goals. Seed vaults, building recycling, animal species, and building a rocket. Okay. <laughs> That I was not expecting. I wasn't expecting to build a rocket. Okay. Flying recycling drone. Upgrade your recycling drone, allowing it to access the entire map. Uh, oh, okay. It can now fly. Okay. Flying recycling drone. Useful. Satellite uplink. Um, uh, okay. What does that do? That is the plant searching thing. Uh, do we not have the animal? Oh, there's the animal one. That's the animal observatory. So where can that go? Do you know what? We'll put those over here, look. That can go there. That can go there. And what's that? What's that? A little balloon is coming out. Okay. <laughs> We've got a little balloon now. Okay. We have a balloon and a satellite uplink or something. Uh, how do we... Can we scan for animals, please? Uh, right. The big thing. Pandas. Can we scan for pandas? Can we do a panda scan? Um, there is bamboo just there. So I think, yeah, if we scan just there, that's got to be good. Um, Nose bamboo near a glade. What would constitute a glade? Oh, seed vault uplink. Hang on, what's this? No comms arrays detected. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. There is a comms array just there, isn't there? Is that not a comms array? Uh, hang on, seed vault capacity... Rocket construction. Rocket silo. Oh, right. It's, it's, oh, crikey. It's a massive, great big thing in the middle. Good grief. Okay. Um, rocket thrusters. Oh, we've got to keep sort of 
gathering stuff up and using it to build the next phases of the rocket. Ah, okay. So now we can put our comms array A. Okay, so we can pop that in. We've got plenty of resources at the moment. It might be worth thinking about doing a spot of recycling, maybe over in that corner there. Because um, have we got... Ah, the recycling bot can get anywhere, it said. The recycler bot can go anywhere. So I think, can we just use these things? Uh, it's got recycling beacons. Hang on. Can we grab all that stuff like that? Suckle that into there and then put that... Oh no, we need another beacon, another thing first. Hang on, where's the where's the line? There it is, monorail node. Right, so put that there, and then put one there. Okay, and then I think what we'll do is we're going to hoover all. Oh, hang on, that's just out of range. That's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it, game? Okay, we'll put one there as well. Fine. So we'll put that there, so they can poot along and grab all that stuff. Um, and then oh, it just flies. Okay. It, it can now just fly. It's It just flies. It's just simple now. Okay, right. So put one just there. That'll pick up some more stuff. Put one there. Put one there. And put one there. So that should sort out this kind of corner of the map. That's good. Let's take that away. Then take that bit away. There's a kind of a little storage vault thing there. There is a bit of a rubbish building there. That's not very good, but we can't get rid of everything, I suppose. Then go over here, look, sort that one out. And then, hang on, is that enough to grab all those? Oh, there's a little tiny one thing just there, which is a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, we'll put that there, look. So that can hoover up all these things. And then we just put that there. Why didn't that hoover up these two radiation scrubby things? Why didn't they get got? Hang on a minute, I need a rail node thing just there. Okay, can we please... Get rid of those things. There we go. So that'll get rid of those. And then we'll go just there. Get rid of all that stuff. We have got the slight inconvenience of that there. Although, actually, hang on. That should allow that thing to get hoovered up. So that's quite good. We can hoover up stuff over there. That's very handy. Okay, right. So let's just keep hoovering things up. I've just told them to get rid of the power plant, which we need to have the fancy things activated. Hang on a minute. <laughs> That's going to ruin things over here, isn't it? Can we scan for animals now that nothing's plugged in? I don't imagine we can. Okay, hang on. Um, yeah, don't do the recycling over there. Maybe let's go and look for some more animals now then. So what's that? This shell bearing retophronics in a large lagoon. Okay, over here possibly. Is that lagoony enough? It's a turtle. So we've got our first animal. And there it is. Hello, turtle friend. How are you? Right. That's good. One animal. This was plenty of our struts on wide open grasslands. Okay, that is wide open grassland right there. A peacock. We've got a peacock. There we go. Fancy peacocks. This is wonderful. Uh, Norse bamboo near a glade. Um, I mean, that implies that it might have to be... Uh, oh, there might work. That's near trees and... Oh, hang on. Not enough bamboo. Bother. Okay, hang on. Can we do it in a slightly different way? Put it all the way down this end. Still not enough bamboo. Good grief. <laughs> How much bamboo does there need to be? What we could do is, could we recycle that and then put it back again? Could we do that? Could we put it back on that structure? We might not be able to get pandas. That'd be sad. Fierce raptor makes its eerie in a tall structure near to a source of prey. Oh, it's a bird. It's a bird of some kind. Okay, what about there then? No. A tall structure. Uh, oh, there? Possibly. Oh, no, there's no prey. There's no prey. So the tall structure is okay, but there's nothing for it to go and eat. Okay, right. So we can't do that one right now. Widespread sewer form roots for tubers in the undergrowth of a deciduous forest. Okay, so just put that there in the middle of a forest. Um, not enough greenery for whatever that is. Some sort of pig type thing? Uh, that's got to be over there. Forest and greenery. Um, it's not enough. Oh, no, there. It is there. Sorry, I was looking right. A boar. Okay, so we've got the animals required. Uh, this endangered marine mammal darts among the fronds of a kelp forest. Uh, oh, we haven't got a kelp forest because um, it's way too hot for a kelp forest. Okay, so we can't get that, whatever that is. Um, so we can't get that really. So we've got the building. We haven't got the prey for it to go and nibble on, which is a bit of a nuisance. Um, 
I mean, yeah, it can't go into those buildings. Or could it go into those buildings if they were recycled? It could go into those buildings if they were recycled. Hang on a second. If we go there and just recycle that, get the drone to fly over, and then we can recycle that thing. That then becomes just a tall structure. Can we then scan for that just there? And it's near turtles? Does that count as prey? I don't think it counts as prey. <laughs> I don't know what that wants to eat. What do you want to eat? Do you eat peacocks? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we've got the animals sorted. Uh, let's add another bit on. So a cargo hold. Add that thing on. Can we add the next bit of the ship on as well? We've got plenty of resources. Got so many resources. Pop that bit on. That was whatever that was. Some sort of other thing. Then we've got cryopods. Frozen plant and animal DNA is stored there. We'll add that as well. We've got loads of points. Got loads of points. We can do this nice and easy. Just stack all these things up. Comms array C. That's going to be helpful. That's going to allow us to connect to other bits of the planet to get seeds, I imagine. Then we've got life support. Okay, very important. Keep the things on the ship alive. How deep is this hole? <laughs> Good grief. That's going down a very long way. Um, flooded city view. Okay, so that's going to allow us to look at this particular place here on the satellite view. And then... Recall the satellite to unlock. Okay, so that's the final thing, is it? Right, so we've got the animal sorted. I'm a bit sad we can't get a panda. Little bit sad about that. That that's, it made me a bit a bit sad. Right, can we get that in over there if we just try and fluke it? No, there's not enough bamboo. Um, yeah, we need a bamboo nursery. We can't put one in there because it's underwater. Uh, the only thing I can think of is if we take that and if we take that down. Hang on, what about there? Can we put one there? That might be... Do you know what? We'll try it. Let's put one there. Bamboo nursery. Lots of bamboo. There's bamboo and there's greenery. So can we sort of go like that and say, okay, can we scan just there, please? <gasps> yes. Pandas. Hello, panda friend. Oh, you're adorable in the miserable weather, but that's okay. That's okay. It's good for the world. It's good for the planet generally. Right now, it's just a case of recycling. It's just a case of trying to recycle the rest of the nonsense that we've left around. So let's go and do that. We've seen this before quite a lot of time. So we'll just go and pick up all the bits and bobs we've left lying around. It's a lot easier with a flying drone. I'll be completely honest. It's a lot easier now that thing can fly about and just get access to things nice and simple. So there you go, drone face. Fly about and pick up all of our machinery. Okay, one more attempt to try to get this bird thing on the map. I'm not quite sure what it is. A hawk or something. I don't know. So it needs a tall building near to a source of prey. There is a tall building over here now because a machine inside it's been recycled away and there are some boar over there some birds over there and some turtles down there so is that enough game is that gonna oh hang on that's not gone right is that gonna be enough is that okay can we scan over here yes it was an eagle okay that's very exciting so yeah it's gonna eat the boar an eagle is gonna take on a boar good grief so the only thing we can't do is that because we don't have a kelp forest because it's too hot to that kind of thing but that's fine I'm quite happy with all that. So now we just need to go and grab the final bits. The final recycling bits. It's not going to be too much of a bother, I don't think. This is going to be nice and straightforward. Um, oh, however, hang on, hang on. We need to keep those buildings in play, don't we? Hang on, the animal building's okay. But yes, we now need to do the whole seed vault thing. Um, hang on, how do we go and do that again? Where's the seed vault button? Do we click on that building? Um, how, do we, how do we go and look at the seed vault stuff? Satellite? Oh, it's there. There it is. Seed Vault Uplink. So, okay. What do we do here, then? So, how, how does this work? <laughs> what are we doing here, game? Well, let's just press the button and see what happens. Um, okay. Oh, I see. We have to kind of zoom about the map and... Oh, we have to kind of store... Okay, so if we go like that, we're going to grab some seeds. This is from the polar region. Oh, okay. So now we can go to, say, just there and go like that grab some stuff from the forest um where did we put where did we put the other things oh hang on get some kelp seeds whatever it was whatever that was from there that's quite good okay the biome scan is quite helpful hang on that's gonna that's a lot of rocks there that is complete okay so we need some forests oh and i've gone to the wrong thing hang on a minute um we need a bit of a forest uh hello penguins and where's the forest it was at the top wasn't it the forests are at the top so that should be there should be loads of forest there. So that should sort the forest seeds out. And then we just need the 
kelp or whatever it was. Hang on, let's go and find where that is. Okay, that bit there looks pretty good, so go and grab some stuff from there. And we need a little bit more. Go up there and grab some more. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got all the seeds from the polar area. Can we just go back to the um, the starting one? River Valley. This should be fairly simple. There's only three biomes. I mean, that's got that sorted. Surely that's plenty of Finboss seeds or whatever. Um, and then we'll just go and find, yeah, the woods. Look, there we go. Grab some for the woods. That's nice and easy. And then where's our marshy bit? Just here. Look, hang on. So sort that out. And boom. Okay, no, not boom. Not boom. Just that boom just there, please. Boom just there. There we go. Lovely. Right. Over to the tropical bit. Desolate Island. We'll just press that button. That's a lot of mangrove or whatever it was. Um, oh, much in the way of mangrove. That's that sorted. This is an unexpected bit. I wasn't expecting this to be in the game. A little kind of scanning game, but okay, that's fine. There's a beachy bit. Not quite finished that off. Um, that'll do. Go over there, scan that. I assume it's costing us some points every time, is it? To do the scanning. I assume it's costing us points. Okay, that's um, coral reef stuff. That's good. And we need some jungly stuff as well. So hang on a minute. There we go. The, the jungle is massive, which is quite helpful. That's good. I will take a bit from there, actually. That's going to sort the jungle out. And just a bit of a bit more coral reef, which I think is just there. Right. So grab plenty of seeds from there. And then it's the region where we are now. Uh, not the glacier, the flooded city. Okay, so this is where we are. Look, that's that's the building that's doing the work that we're doing now. Right, that's plenty of forest. That's many foresty seeds. Um, okay, sunflower. Hang on, that's good for the mangrovey lagoon thing, whatever it was. Sunflowers. Okay, a little bit of sunflower from over there. There aren't that many sunflower seeds around. There's quite a few there. That'll be quite helpful. Uh, get some bamboo from just there. That's quite good as well. And there's some bamboo over here. There's a massive spaceship sticking out the ground. That's not quite the bamboo we need. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? And loads of sunflowers, that's sorted. The final bit of bamboo then. It's got to be the bamboo that's next to the pandas. Hello, pandas. Right, there we go. Recall our satellite. So the floaty thing, the balloon that we let out. So recall the satellite. That's then going to come back in. So that's going to pop back down. Okay, where's it going? I don't know where it's going. <laughs> You're in the wrong place, satellite. You're supposed to go into here, I think. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, what? It's just sort of crashed into the sea. Uh, are we supposed to recover that now? Do we need to recover that thing? I suspect maybe we, we need to recover that. Because that's now lying around. Hang on a minute then, hang on. We'll, we'll go and recover that thing. Let's send the drone out over there, please. So yeah, can you go and pick that up? That was unexpected, but okay, right. So pick that up. We've now got all the seeds and whatnot. Now it's just a case of doing the final bits of recycling, which we can do because we don't need those buildings anymore. That was the problem. We needed those buildings, but now we do not. Although, I think we might possibly have missed out that building. There, there we go. It's all going to be fine. Right, so once I've done that, I think that's going to be every single building. By the gigantic, great big kind of spaceship tube there, every building is going to be sorted, which is good. Just a quick check of the map, just to make sure we haven't missed anything, found any trees or whatever. Okay, yeah, happy with that. Um, where's the drone gone? Is the drone dealing with these? No, the drone isn't dealing with these. Okay, drone, go and deal with that bit. And then we're going to be done. Then we can build the seed vault cockpit on the top, caps the rocket with the collected seeds. The rocket will then be ready for launch. And we've got so many leaf points, we don't know what to do with them. It's a little bit silly. Pop the top on the rocket. That's wonderful. There's the, whatever it was, the hawk, the eagle, the bird thing that was going around. And there we go. We're done. Retry map. No, we're at the end of the map. And we're going to blast off. I think that's it. Do we leave the planet behind? Is this it? Let's take one last little look at our reclaimed kind of uh, collapsed sunken town. Um, I mean, yeah, you can still see that clearly there was something here once upon a time, but it looks a lot better now. Lots of lovely green around the place. There's birds flying around and turtles and peacocks and pandas. And it's all very good. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Let's press the button and we'll see what happens. What happens to the big hole that we're going to leave in the planet where the spaceship once was? Are we just going to bring that with us on like a little tow rope or something? How's that going to work? Okay, it's all very dramatic. 
And out comes the seed ship with all sorts of different things. It's massive. <laughs> it's enormous. It's a gigantic big ship. Can't move the camera. I was going to try and move it up to watch it go up off the top of the camera, but I can't do that. Um, it fills it with water. And oh, it becomes like a little kind of pond. And it just becomes a little bit like it's part of the broken town. Oh, that's very exciting. Oh, and then look, we get a little kind of montage of things. Look, we get to see all the different areas that we've been to, all the different types of animals and trees and plants and everything else. It's very lovely. Oh, there we go. So what happens now? Oh, there's the rocket taking off. <laughs> bye bye, rocket. It looks implausibly difficult to fly, but OK. That poodle's off to, I don't know, where's it gone? I don't know where it's gone. And we've sort of completed Terra Nil. I mean, you can come back to it and there's going to be more stuff you can do. But in essence, we've completed the game, which is wonderful. And it's really good. I like that. I'm very happy that we've got to the end. And the world has been reclaimed, it says up there. There is a little bit of work to do, I feel. I kind of feel like we have got a little bit more work to put in. Uh, so what did we get percentage wise on that? That was... 64%. Okay. You've unlocked alternate versions of all the regions. Select a region to play its alternate version. Okay. So we can now go into here. So the River Valley, which is what we did first, and then Abandoned Quarry, which is a slightly different version of that level. So it's a different map in the same temperate region. I imagine it's a little bit more challenging. Okay. So over there we've got Archipelago. There we have Irradiated Sprawl. I bet that's quite hard. And then on that one there, we have Polluted Fjord. Crikey's okay. I think we're on 61% restoration progress, and I think yeah, we've seen the game in its entirety. I would say, I mean, okay, the levels that have just unlocked are going to be a little bit different, but they're going to be more of the same kind of things that we've seen. And it's just going to be putting the biomes in and trying to find the animals. And we try and make an effort to be able to locate the final animals that we didn't get to try and get those numbers up. So I think what we'll do is we will wrap things up with Terra Nil for now. We're not going to go back in and do the difference on new levels because. I feel like it's going to be sort of you know, repeating what we've already done. It's going to be much of a muchness, isn't it? Same kind of thing. We're going to be putting down the same buildings and getting the same biomes and picking the same animals and all that kind of stuff. So I'm quite happy with how we've done. I'm really happy with that. 61% restoration progress is not too bad at all for a first effort. For first run through, that's quite good. So I'm really happy with that. And it's a wonderful game. It's a really wonderful game. I really enjoyed this. But to think, yeah, we'll sort of we'll wrap things up with it for now because yeah, I do think it might get a bit repetitive if we just come back and do the same things again. But I've really enjoyed this. I've really, really enjoyed it. I love the fact that the game has a bit of a message, of course, about tidying up and looking after the environment and stuff. But I think maybe my favourite bit of the whole game is okay the animals i like the animals particularly the penguins penguins are good and also the pandas are adorable so the animals are a good thing i like the fact there are animals in the game that's good but i like the tidying up i love the idea of them going okay right we're going to go down we're going to sort the planet out it's going to you know, go from this barren wasteland to this lovely green or you know snowy place and it's going to be amazing and then they don't just leave the stuff behind and go right there we go we've left all our stuff behind but do you know what the planet looks okay now we're off we then tidy up after ourselves, which is wonderful. I do like that. We're going to go and pick up all the bits of machinery that we used to make it all lovely. And then we go away. And really, nobody would kind of expect that we've been to quite a few places. The only real thing that we left behind was the great big kind of rocket silo thing over there somewhere. So I do like that as well. And you know, it plays really well. It's got a good challenge. There are many different things to do. You can play it in different ways, I imagine. It looks really good. It looks beautiful. There's a lot of lovely artwork going on. So yeah, overall, it's really good. It's really, really enjoyable. But yeah, I think we'll wrap things up for now because we have completed all the different levels. And I think we've seen what the game has to offer. If we do come back to it, it's just going to be a case of history repeating kind of thing. So we will finish things up for now with Terra Nil. Hopefully you did enjoy this, which I hope you did because I've had a lot of fun playing it. It's been really, really wonderful. But if you did enjoy it, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Let's throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. But this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please? This is, this is, this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no, 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 it, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. What Who's examining who? <laughs>